Hi everybody, I'm here with Chloe, and Chloe has spent all summer on the beach, and that has drawn out her color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some depth into her hair. I'm going to use Majorelle French Brown here on the regrowth, and then I'm going to put some Smart Bond into my lightener, because I'm going to use a technique that will frame her face and bring out some of that lightness. I'm really excited. With Chloe, what we needed to do was we needed to save her look. She spent all summer on the beach. What she needed was a little bit of depth at the root, but she also needed some cosmeticity to the hair. So what I did was I used Majorelle French Brown on the roots. And then I used Blonde Studio, a strobing technique to add a little bit of lightness through the hair. The takeaway is just as important as the application. I put it inside a sweet mesh so that the colors do not connect. I also used one of my favorite products, Smart Bond. Smart Bond, with just a few drops, allows me to work on highly sensitized blonde area where I was not able to work with before. So I'm creating a long layered bob. What I've done is I've taken a classic horseshoe section, and then I'm going to cut the perimeter. I'm also going to elevate and cut from short to long. Over directing everything to the center will allow it to fall in a natural concave form. Pro tip when you're creating the baseline is the angle of your scissors. You want to make sure you have your scissors on a 45 like so. This way it allows you to make sure you get no graduation on the baseline. So I've pulled everything to the center, creating a concave shape. And now for the finish. So what I'm gonna use is French Girl Hair from Technier. I'm going to apply just a little bit to the ends of the hair. To finish my client, I've used Wild Styler 60 Babe. She had a request. She said to me, Brennan, whenever I curl my hair, it doesn't stay. A great tip is apply a little bit of this pre-curl in order to keep it lasting longer. So what I'm doing, I'm starting the curl mid-shaft and then I'm wrapping backwards, making that curl come away from the face and feeling the temperature on the outside. And then we're just going to lift the tongue and release the curl. So what I'm doing here is an alternate look on Chloe. What I've done is I'm taking a flat iron and I'm using it to create a flat iron wave. And all you do is you work the flat iron like a throttle and you go back and forth like so. And then always finishing with the hair curling under, just to give it a loose ripple in the hair. For a great salon experience, there are two things I like to do. First is recommend to my clients a great at-home routine. And secondly, I like to give them a tip or two so that they can recreate the style at home. 